Nigeria, the most populous African country, has a moderately large network of diplomatic missions. Notably, Nigeria has significant influence in Africa and in various multilateral fora. Nigeria first started sending 12 diplomatic personnel overseas to serve in British missions from 1957. The high level of expertise needed in the responsibility of issuing passports and visas on foreign missions puts these duties squarely in the domain of the Nigeria Immigration Service. On this edition of the Immigration Half Hour, we will focus on the functions of NIS staff deployed to missions. Welcome to the program and thank you for joining us. I am Victoria Omari Ubeka. <music> As enshrined in the Immigration Act 2015, Section 9, the functions of a Nigerian Immigration Service Diplomatic Attaché are numerous. To mention but a few, foremost is to make migration stress-free in line with global best practice with particular reference to the Presidential Executive Order on Ease of Doing Business in Nigeria. They are saddled with the responsibility of processing and issuance of passports to bona fide Nigerians abroad. They also process and issue visas to persons desirous of coming in to Nigeria. Issuance of emergency travel certificate to bona fide Nigerians in line with e-passport data. Deputy Comptroller of Immigration Adeola Ann Adeshokan, who is head of the foreign desk at the service headquarters, was a former attaché. Now, she sheds more light on our subject matter. As a privileged immigration attaché to so Nigerian diplomatic mission, the core mandates given to us as enshrined in Immigration acts. Immigration attaché abroad are saddled with responsibility under the Act of Section 9, Subsection 3B, is the processing and issuance of passports to bona fide Nigerians. Secondly, the processing and issuance of visa to people who desire to come into the country. We also issued emergency traveling certificates for Nigerians in line with their e-passport data page. Other related immigration activities are also involved. We identify incarcerated Nigerians and we do their removal. But most especially, we carry the mobile machines to do passport interventions, like bringing services to the doorsteps of Nigerians to alleviate their pains to travel down. To the regional. I started by a tour of duty from New York, a consulate in New York, and I uh, also served in the Nigerian Embassy, Washington DC. It's a good and healthy relationship we had with all the interagencies that are housed in the mission, and that um, enabled us, facilitated prompt service delivery in the insurance of immigration facilities to Nigerians in the diaspora. Indeed, it was a pleasant experience. We now intimate you on the countries where passport intervention took place in 2019. Presently, we have 52 nations that have Nigerian immigration services present. We have immigration attached in these 52 regions and it's part of the reforms mm -hmm. that the current administration under the leadership of the Controller General did. We had a new missions. Last year we had a six additional missions. Last year alone we issued close to 200,000 Nigerian passports at these missions. 
as to compare with 2018, where 177,000 plus were issued. We issued visa last year alone, well over 196,000 visas were issued, compared to previous years of 185,000. Under the current leadership of the Controller General, Muhammad Babadidi, MFR, a couple of reforms have been made. But let me highlight a few of them. The first one I would like to talk about is the automation of the Nigerian diplomatic mission. The Controller General, Muhammad Badadidi, MFR can sit down in his office and monitor real time the number of passports we produce, the number of visas we produce on a daily basis by just click of a button. So that we can know who we are issuing our facilities to abroad at different places. Second one is the biometric visas. You will agree with me that visa regime has seen a lot of evolution from stamp, then to visa stickers and uh, visa biometric visas, which is in line with best global practices. It's very important that we capture the fingerprints and the names, the data of those who've come to Nigeria. These data, can we do analyze them and have intelligence sharings to agencies that are profitable to them. We should know who and who is coming. We intend to go to all the 104 diplomatic missions that Nigeria have abroad. Mm -hmm. But right now, we've commenced it and uh, it's functional. Then the top one is the commissioning of six additional missions that was just done recently. Previously, we had 46 missions, and um, we had that six one, bringing them to a total of 52 missions. These missions are far off, and um, we're able to help Nigerians to have passport processing machines really installed in those missions. They don't need to travel all the way back home or to a neighboring mission before they can renew their passport. These missions mainly are Japan, South Korea, Uganda, Lebanon, Romania, and Manchester. The fourth reform that is also very laudable is it, we all agree Nigerians are fast travelers all over the world. And there are places where we don't have Nigeria diplomatic missions. How do we intend to help them out? So one of these reforms is to alleviate their pains by bringing the services to their doorstep. We deploy officers to carry mobile machines and take it straight to those countries. 2019, we deployed the mobile machine to over 25 countries of the world. And uh, Nigerians were very glad for that reform that the Controller General did because students would not have to travel back to renew to, to renew their passport. And you know if a student does not have a student permit and their passport is not up to date, they will not be able to renew their passport for them. So it was a laudable reform and people were really happy for it. The immigration officers are trained to identify Nigeria even by interviewing. There are many ways we can do that. Your accent, your dialects, immunization. But for immigration attaches, we have documents that we verify. All of those documents are birth certificates of those who are coming to take Nigeria passport. We want to know where they are coming from. Their local government certificates is also very important. Now we will want the national identity number. They are no number. We will know where they are coming from. And for those who are born there, the fresh, fresh applications, we use a parents' data page, parents' uh, e passport data pages, and we ask for their parental consent before we can issue those passports to them. These are automation of the documents we have. Non Nigerians married to Nigerians. Yes, their children will go through the normal passport process because in Nigeria, father's consent is very important. If a wife 
if a woman marries in Nigeria, man, it's automatically a Niger wife. And there are procedures and processes before you can obtain a Nigerian passport. That is done by the Federal Ministry of Interior. Upon the approval, then we can go ahead and issue the passport. But you have to go through the normal due process. We don't just issue it at the nation. We collect the dictators, that means the number of passports issued. We also collect uh, the number of visas they issue, the emergency travel document they use, they have the visitation they do at um, different prisons, and the number of Nigerians to be deported back to Nigeria. So we also collect the number of visas that were rejected in, in a year. We do a monthly report and send it in for the annual reports of the service. In this office, we ensure that the attaches we sent abroad are being paid as a deal so that they will not become a liability. We are to ensure that booklets are given to missions as a deal Because we give priority, the Controller General give a lot of priority for missions. Because we understand the plight of Nigerians abroad where if their passport is expired, they can do nothing. We interface with the immigration attaches at the mission. And um, likewise, back here, we also interface with Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Policies. We likewise work with the um, Ministry of Interior, our parent ministry to ensure that everything is working smoothly at the mission. We last with um, diplomatic missions in Nigeria. We collect reports and returns from the mission for, for analysis. We also ensure availability of adequate immigration facilities to the mission. Most importantly, we do coordinations of training of officers who will be going to replace other officers. We, the current Comptroller General Mohamed Babandidi, MFR, is, is so important to him that officers that will be sent to the mission are well trained to be able to confront diplomatic ethics and um, to have great intelligence to work at the mission and he has been doing that we have been keeping them mm -hmm. the service has been investing so much on them to produce seasoned officers at the mission i want to thank the almighty god for as we speak none of our immigration attaches are affected by the pandemic and their family they are all at their missions but offering skeletal services to Nigerians. But I would like to talk about the one that is in the social media. They are the eyes of the storm, the Guangzhou experience, and Nigerians that are being quarantined. The immigration attache one in, in conjunction with the, the MFA, the consular officer, they've been visiting the quarantine centers to give them food and items. So, so just to take care of their welfare, I and mean, it's, it's, it's a good experience, and it's been reporting back to the service headquarters on their movements.